Hello, my friends, and good morning, or good evening, good night, wherever you're at. I thought I would come on here and show you guys my oldest designer bag. Um, I showed it on Instagram, and everyone was like, oh my gosh, let me see the inside. Let me, you know, they were asking a lot of questions, so I thought maybe it would be worth making a video if that many people had questions. Maybe a lot of you guys would want to see what my oldest designer handbag is. Now, I wouldn't say this is a luxury handbag because it is a coach, and I know maybe back in the day it was considered luxury, but today's standards know it would be designer, but maybe not luxury. Um, but this is the Coach Tribeca, and this is, like I said, my oldest bag, and you can tell it has been worn not just by me because I got it secondhand. This bag is 26 years old this year, um, and it is a camel leather, and it still feels so good. It has the stamping here, and if you know anything about... Um, coach bags that are vintage. The inside leather is usually, you'll find the raw leather like this. So all of this is leather and it does have the stamping here in case anyone's interested in looking at that. Of course, you can see mine's worn to death, but here's the code. So this bag um, was made in 19, I was trying to read and see if there's anything I missed, but no. Um, 1998, and this was made in the US. Going by that code, you can see that. So it just has um, like a zipper pocket on this side, and you can see even my zippers are tarnished, and I need to do something about that, like clean it, do something. I just love it so much. I just love how worn and like, this is a really special bag to me, because it's the oldest one, and I just love, love, love it. So it has the zipper pocket on one side and it has a slip pocket on the other. And again, with that leather being, I guess like, I don't know what you call it, raw leather. I don't know, it's just like not covered in anything. Um, but I love this. It looks like a really small bag, but it's not really that small. It holds a lot of stuff. I've got all my stuff on the floor because this is the bag I'm currently carrying. Um, I love it. You can go on eBay and find them. I don't know like uh, about authenticity or date codes on eBay because I've never got a bag on there. Um, but you can see, definitely worn, definitely loved. The leather on this has even patinaed some, even though this isn't a bag color that would normally patina too much um, just from the wear. But let me tell you the best part about this bag is that my husband found this bag at an estate sale where a lovely lady who had lots and lots of nice things passed away. Um, and so of course they were just selling everything in her house and in her collection. And he got this bag for $1. $1. Ah, I'm dead. And I love it so much. It's so gorgeous. The whole wear and tear of it is like my favorite part. It just like this bag has so many stories to tell. This bag probably traveled overseas. I mean, it probably traveled all over the place because like I said, it was at like a rich lady's estate sale. So I just love it so much. It feels so good. It's so soft. The gold hardware has like tarnished. I don't know if there's something I can put on that. Oh, it also has all the original tags. Even with being how old it is, the zipper still works really good. I mean, this is a good quality bag, you guys. I love this. So if you ever have estate sales, go to them. See what they have. Those rich people will be buying all kinds of stuff. And then when they die, their family members don't give a crap and they just sell everything. One dollar, okay? Oh, I love this so much. So I'm gonna go put all my stuff back in there, but I just wanted to show it to you guys. I know this is a really short video, but a lot of people were asking about it on Instagram and I thought maybe it would be worth mentioning and showing. I do have obviously tons of other bags and over here I have a whole wall of bags. If there's any bags in particular that I have that you guys want to see, it's like I think my next oldest bag, um, <clears throat> well my next oldest bag is another coach, but it's just kind of like not that interesting, but my next oldest bag, and you can tell by the wear, and it's just been worn by me, is my Louis Vuitton Speedy 25, Speedy V 25. 
have worn that thing is my absolute favorite. And I used to hate speedies. I was like, oh, this thing looks, mm -mm. and then I got one and now it's my favorite and it's my oldest and I cannot part with it. There's been a lot of bags I've sold over the years, you know, that I've been able to part with easily. And then some of them I'm like, oh, I really wish I still had that bag, but that's okay. Bags come and go and you can always get more bags. So just wanted to show this to you guys if you're interested and yeah, let me know what other videos you want to see. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today and I will see you in my next video.